So you want me to light this thing, huh? I've got it going through the ceiling. Okay. Okay, so I just stuck some paper in there to heat up the heat riser and chimney. Then we dump some kindling on it that I've split up the old fashioned way. And we pick on Paul. <laughs> and just the rest of it in there. I need some more kindling because I'm a little loose on the amount. I drop some more in. It looks like it's lit and it's becoming involved. Would you hand me those two pieces of wood, Fred? Indeed. So, these stoves like to be full. And, uh, I like to feed them. So this is a bypass system, which we've done a couple of times before. Mm -hmm. This particular one goes out of the wall or straight up. Um, after the whole channeling through the bench, uh, when it gets warm enough, we'll see how well the system behaves. 500-ish degrees. We've got a dome starting in the, in the bottom of the barrel, which is an excellent sign. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing a little leak. And it's just the fire breathing right now. This is new. It doesn't... The first run, it's run through all this new mass we put on, put in it. Which of course... Oh, 230. Uh, drastic reduction in temperature on the way down the barrel, which is just as it should be. It's putting off a lot of radiant. We've got a good burn going. So let's go out and check out the smoke plume. No smoke at all. So what this is telling me is we've got equilibrium between the inside and the outside of the building right now. Um, there we go. Just a little bit of steam. There's just enough lift to get it over the lip and we're burning clean. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.